ISS is a thriller about two nations fighting for control over the International Space Station. So in this movie, we follow the crew members of the spacecraft, three of them from the United States and three of them from Russia. Among them is their newest member, Dr. Kira Foster, played by Ariana DeBose. She is cordially welcomed into their little space family. But not long after she joins, nuclear war erupts between the US and Russia back on Earth. And the astronauts and cosmonauts aboard the ISS are each given orders from their respective nations take control of it through any means necessary. This of course puts a lot of pressure on them, leading them to wonder what they should do and who they can trust. So this movie is carried by tension. There are some moments in this movie that really leave you at the edge of your seat, wondering whether or not someone will make a move and at times who will be the one to make a move. The suspense in a few of these scenes was actually really serious. I genuinely did not know how some of them would play out. And it was kind of cool to see how everything transpired. Some of the happenings you probably will not see coming. So moves are made to try and gain control of the stage and there are moments where characters are flooded with emotions like guilt and grief. I think these moments would have felt emotional for us to view had we seen more of a bond between these characters prior. The first act does establish the relationships on board, but most of them just feel really shallow. Keyword there is most, I'm not talking about all of them. So when blows are traded and characters get knocked down, I can't really say that I felt anything for the others that were impacted. Since the movie was on the shorter side at only about an hour and a half, they could have added more filler, maybe some more heart to hearts to actually give us a reason to feel for them. As far as screenwriting goes, this movie could have been a lot more subtle. There is just so much dialogue that just spoon feeds us the idea behind the script. Like for an example, at the beginning, one of them more or less says, yeah, up here we don't keep up with the problems down there because up here we are one nation. Maybe just talk like normal people and show compassion for one another. We can put it together that they're unified just by the way that they treat each other. Subtext is what I'm getting at. There could have been better subtext. A lot of it was just very on the nose. There were a couple of conversations that could have had clever subtext had they not been immediately followed by one of the characters clarifying the subtext. It's just like telling a joke and then immediately explaining the punchline after. While I'm talking about the writing, I'd like to add that there were some decisions made by characters that I just don't think made any sense at all. Like things have already gone south and one of the characters says to another, I want to talk to you alone, prompting for the other character to leave. If trust is already a huge concern at this point, then why would you tell the other character to leave? That just makes you look horribly suspicious. Okay, third and final writing complaint, I promise. These characters are loosely bilingual. They sometimes understand their crewmates' foreign languages, but sometimes don't. The loose understanding of each other's languages felt like a bit of a writing cop-out, just so characters could or could not understand each other seemingly whenever it was just convenient to the plot. The cinematography was interesting. The camera often floats around in three dimensions to replicate the sporadic movements that it would have if it were actually shot in zero gravity. They cleverly used the constant rotations of the camera to sneak a few Dutch angles in there, which are of course used to create tension with a shot. I thought that was pretty clever. There's also some good use of visual metaphors. I think visually, this movie did a pretty decent job, all things considered. So I try not to use terms like highbrow or lowbrow when reviewing a movie Movie just because I love a wide variety of movies, but if you were expecting politics or anything intellectual to play a hand in the narrative, nah. <sighs> this movie was pretty easily digestible. Like I said, that's not always a bad thing. This movie needed something else stimulating in it. It could have been improved a number of ways. A broader narrative is just one way. Bigger spectacle or even perhaps some mystery could have given it a little extra spice. Overall, this movie delivered a suspenseful experience, but not much of a memorable or emotional one. The movie's fine. I think it's one that you can just wait to watch when it comes to a streaming service that you already have and not pay $6 to rent. So when that happens, it might be worth a watch if you're in the mood for a suspenseful but easy watch. Thank you for watching this review. If it brought you any value at all, please consider giving it a like. It really does help the channel grow. I'll see you later this week with my reviews of Origin and Miller's Girl.